Hello boys and girls. It's time for story time again. I hope that you were able to get outside and play a little bit. It's been so nice outside. But now it's time to read. I'm reading Sparky Boops and Greedy Buck. So this was a story from Sparks. If you ever went to Wana, you might have heard the story. Robbie the rhinoceros, rhinoceros beetle was one of the biggest bugs in Stump Village. He was also one of the most generous critters in the entire forest. Everyone knew that Robbie was especially fond of sharing. The time when Katie the cricket forgot to bring her lunch to school, Robbie gave her a big piece of a, his very favorite chewy cherry chocolate cake. Or when Laura the ladybug hung upside down on the, on the monkey bars and lost all the money from her pockets. Robbie found every coin. In fact, when Laura counted her money later, she had an extra dime. One day, Robbie was sitting down to lunch after a long swim in a puddle outside of Stump Village. He was about to bite into his yummy pea sandwich when a big green bug with a lumpy shell dropped down from a tree branch holding a bag of chewy cherry chocolates. I'm Gordon from Grumple Rib River. Would you like a treat today? He asked in a deep, scratchy voice. Yes, I would, Robbie said. Robbie popped one into his mouth. That's from Stump Village Candy Shop, Gordon said. I stole it. Robbie gulped and his eyes grew wide. The candy doesn't belong to you? Gordon's wide, hungry mouth grinned an evil grin. If I like it, why can't I just take it? If you think about others, you'll never get anywhere, anything you want. Leaving the bag by Robbie, he jumped back into the tree and disappeared. Robbie looked down at the bag of chewy cherry chocolates. He knew stealing was wrong, but why shouldn't he have it? It was his absolutely favorite treat. Robbie took another piece and gulped it down. He smacked his lips. His rhinoceros beetle nose twitched. That night, Robbie did not share any of his chewy cherry chocolate treats with his mother or his father. He didn't offer one to his brother. Instead, he hid them in his big beetle bed so that he could eat them all by himself. The next day, Robbie didn't think about others. He thought only about himself. If he saw something he liked, he grabbed it and stuffed it in his backpack. Mine, he yelled, snatching a red feather from Mrs. Ardich's book that she had, teachers had brought into the school to show the class. Gimme, he shouted at his as he grabbed the snail shell Katie the cricket found while she was playing. Soon everyone in Stump Village knew that something was terribly wrong with Robbie the rhinoceros beetle. He was no longer helpful or generous. Instead, he was greedy and selfish. We are worried, said, the, said Robbie's teacher. He's so unkind, said Robbie's friend. What can we do, said Robbie's parents. One day, Robbie's parents flew to the top of Stump Village where the elder bugs gathered. Robbie didn't come to breakfast this morning and he didn't go to school. We don't know where he is, Mrs. Rhinoceros Beetle said. The bugs buzzed with alarm as they wondered where Robbie went. Finally, Clyde the centipede stood up slowly. Clyde was the oldest bug in Stump Village and he was very wise. <coughs> I fear that young Robert has been deceived by that greedy bug. Who is the greedy bug, Mrs. Rhinoceros Beetle asked. Gordon the greedy bug lives down by Grumple River, Clyde answered. He lives surrounded by piles of stuff that he, his greedy hands have collected. Robbie may be there. If so, he's in danger. 
The greedy bug will fight to keep his stuff, and he never loses a duel. Mrs. Rhinoceros Beetle moaned in distress. Suddenly, a voice called out, I'll go after him, Sparky the Firefly flew up next to Robbie. <clears throat> Robbie's parents. Robbie is my friend. I'll help you find him. With Sparky leading the way, Gordon the Greedy Bug's house was easy to find. It was small and it sat in the middle of a teetering pile of junk. Robbie sat on the top pile, his face smeared with chewy cherry chocolates. Robbie, you need to come home, Sparky pleaded. Leave me and my stuff alone, Gordon the greedy bug snarled as he leaped out from behind a pile of stuff. We don't want your stuff, we want our friend, Sparky answered bravely. Gordon grabbed a doodle bopper and popped part Sparky. You want your friend back? Well, challenge you to a duel. Gordon jumped into Bug Tossle Rock as Sparky chose his own doodle bopper. Sparky flew onto the rock and forced his the greedy and faced the greedy bug. The duel had begun. Sparky was quick little firefly, but he soon though found that his opponent was much, much quicker. The greedy bug's doodle bopper jack poked and whacked Sparky from every angle. I'm in big trouble, Sparky thought. If only I could get one decent swing. Then Sparky had an idea. As the greedy bug danced in front of him, Sparky spun quickly around. This is for Robbie, he shouted, thankful for his friend. He, Sparky shined the light up at the end of his tail as bright as he could. Oh, yelled Gordon. As he fell backwards, rubbing his eyes, the bright light had blinded him for a brief moment. With a swish, Sparky swung his doodle bopper as hard as he could and whacked the greedy bug doodle bopper from his hand. <clears throat> Whack! Gordon tumbled away from Sparky, spinning on his lumpy green shell. Splash! He fell over at the edge of the rock and landed in the river. Sparky had won. Help! Please help! Blah, 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 I can't swim! The greedy bug cried in fear as the water pulled him downstream. Sparky zoomed over to Gordon with Robbie totally toddling along with along the bank. Sparky grabbed Gordon, but he couldn't pull him out. The river was too strong. Gordon was headed straight for the waterfall. Robbie tried to go after his friend, but he couldn't hardly walk or run because he was carrying too much stuff. He stumbled into the river. He couldn't help Sparky and keep all his stuff. He had to choose. I'm coming, Sparky, Robbie cried, dropping everything into the water and zipping to help his friend. Together, Robbie and Sparky pulled Gordon onto the ground as Robbie's stuff swirled over the edge of the waterfall. The bugs cheered. Why did you help me, Gordon asked. Because it is better to share than be selfish, Robbie replied. I was greedy, but I won't let it happen again. Gordon panted to, for breath before answering softly saying, thank you. From that day on, Robbie the rhinoceros beetle became even more kind and generous than before. So I guess the moral of the story is, are we greedy or are we, and selfish, or are we kind and generous? I hope we're the latter. Thank you. See you later.